Hello, and welcome to part 13 of a of the Breaking It All Down Let's Play of Remember Me. And we have our sewer level. I'm full up, so that's good. But yeah, we start out with the sewer level, and we're getting a second one. That's kind of disappointing, but this is we had such really great visuals of the city as a whole, and... Hey, Nilin, ça va? Wow, toi et Ed, j'avais vraiment foutu la merde. C'est la panique en ville. Ouais. La merde semble être le thème du jeu. Ok, ok, euh, bon, je te laisse. J'ai l'impression que j'ai été repéré. On s'oublie pas. Oh, nice to know you remembered us. But when did we give him our our number? I hope he's bad request doesn't end up a character where he gets captured, mind wiped into betraying us, and then recovers his memory just in time to die horribly and tragically, just because it'd be really cliche. And by the fact that if they go that plot if they follow that plot arc, I basically just spelled the whole arc out for them right up front. Anyway, yeah, after getting those nice visuals of the of both the slums and the upper city, um, to go back to the sewers again in this really claustrophobic environment is kind of depressing. Okay. All right. Now let's keep moving after I get a better look at that. It's, it's, wherever it is, it's clearly not over here. I mean, they put a lot of work into the, the, the distribution of debris in the sewers, left or right. I think... Alright, so left is more is is sort of the story and I think it's over I'm looking for is over here. One of the wraiths. Ooh, um okay. A temple to a one of the robots. Oh, and a focus boost. Won't say no to that. Glad I took the detour. Be really careful about the edge here. I was expecting that if I get knocked off. Oh, yep. I knocked him, just knocked him off, and it counted as a kill. So I do not want to end up in the goop. So it was kind of nice to uh, be able to to uh, cut down on the uh, length of the fight there by just kind of knocking guys over the edge. All right, so I don't think I can get that on a running start. We're going to traverse to ah up there. And drop down, and looks like I'm using the junk shot to open the door. Going up. I do like the use of light and shadows here. Um, I might as well use this anyway. By the way, if someone here reads French, you can translate the um f the uh, French scribblings of the uh, leapers. That'd be great. 
I think sans moi in moi is no me in, in me, which kind of fits with the uh, mental disturbance of the leapers thing. All right, so you get to ride the plot railroad. Ah, so this is Johnny Green Teeth. Johnny Green Teeth? Well, the Medtax, who has since become a leaper. I like how the music does the sort of scare chord synthetic thing here. I think this guy gets the DOS. And he disappeared. We're gonna attack him. And now the train started moving. Remonte la rame jusqu'à la cabine. Essaye de trouver la commande d'arrêt d'urgence. Charming. And if I've been experienced the train levels. The way it's going to work is each room or section is going to have a bunch of enemies in it who I have to take out. And unfortunately, I burned my um, Nile of Service attack. Um, is pressing. I can probably use Fury here, though, though some of these guys are on the walls. So that's everybody, so I'm going to open the door onto the next compartment, and more goons. Alright, so... Okay, so I shoot one of those side things. Okay. Really? Making references to The Shining? I don't know if I want to know what happens if he's... Uh, if I fail in completing that in time. Uh, yet, as yet, when we game over, we don't get any like really horrific animations like from Dead Space or other similar places. Even though... Um, our main character, Dylan, is a female character. Don't have any play, anything that plays off of more female fears, like of our fears of bad things that are normally traditionally normally which normally traditionally happen only to female characters. For her, should she fail in an objective or be taken out by a bad guy? Well, I brain zap you. And we derail. Also, I do like, actually, that we don't have a romance for Nilan. I understand why they did it. That they were concerned about male gamers finding their avatar character being in a relationship with another male character to be distasteful, which in its own way is kind of dumb. But on the other hand, it makes Nilan's arc more independent, I guess. She's a character who's driven to pursue her objectives for her own reasons. She doesn't need to rescue a dude in distress. Um, she's not doing it to save her man. Sûrement une nouvelle forme de mutation. Peut-être une espèce plus évoluée de Viper. J'ai ressenti tellement de rage et de souffrance dans son esprit. Sors vite du métro. Qui sait ce qui pourrait encore s'y cacher? 
yeah, she's not doing these missions to save her man. She's not doing it to um, get the respect of a male character. She's doing it for her. I mean, yes, there is her, her mission control is Edge, who is male, but it's cl fairly clear that Nilan doesn't necessarily totally trust Edge either, and the events with the uh, breaching of the dam, while they f sort of furthered, made it easier to. Um, to pursue her objective of reclaiming her identity doesn't mean she thinks they were necessarily the right thing to do. Those nice little plot thing. So this way takes me up. Let's check the other way first to see if there's any pickups over here. Ah, yep, there's something. There are these scare mech things. There we go, we're outside and being attacked by hordes of enemies again. Wonderful. Oh, and it's the, the Brute, too. Alright, actually, yeah, I believe in his description... Yeah, if I use the Nile Service attack... It breaches, it punches through his, um, desync, the synchronization thing. I, I still have to contend with his increased health and so forth. He's still a really tough cookie to beat, but it allows me to get some extra hits on, in on him. Okay, so shoot him off the wall. Oh, I'll take him out entirely, and now knock him out. You know what, just use the fury on you. Take you out. Alright. Well, let's keep moving on. Make sure if there's any collectibles over here to grab. Nice to be out the sewers. Admire la folie de notre époque. Des familles vivaient ici. La gouvernante les a délogés pour construire le barrage Saint-Michel et sécuriser la forteresse de la Bastille. This is definitely historical person of Paris. Love the, the moss covering or anything. Ah, here's Johnny Green Teeth. And actually. Alright, so these hazards are definitely ones which aren't. Reste tranquille. Um, tu t'agites pire qu'un chat dans une centrifugeuse. Here at the moment. Dernière patrouille, et puis ils vont noyer tout le quartier. Ok? Okay. But it kind of sets up that we're going through, that since we're going through Green Teeth's memories, we're going to be perceiving things his way and observing his actions. And we're coming up at the end of this installment, so we're kind of mid-chapter here, so I'll probably end up replaying some of this next time. But next time we will continue making our way to Le Bastille. I'll see you then.